Joe Biden wrapped up Grandpa's Day Out by attending the COP26 climate conference in Scotland, AKA England's fancy church hat. And although COP26 sounds like a Bruce Willis movie that never actually got made, it's actually the most important annual climate change conference in the world. Although that doesn't mean that it's the most exciting conference in the world. I call on you to commit to concrete actions to stop the destruction of this magnificent planet. This conference is one of the most important meetings in history. You have the chance to make decisions and reach agreements which will affect the lives of generations to come. This is my message from Earth to COP. On behalf of We the 15, I ask you, please help us to guarantee a safer future for every life. Please welcome Prime Minister of Italy, Mario Draghi. I don't know what's worse. The fact that he clapped for a speech that he didn't hear, or the fact that he fell asleep when the guy was like, this is the most important thing <sighs> facing humanity <sighs> of all time. And, and look, look, look. I know that the haters are gonna say that Biden was falling asleep during the climate conference. But think about it. How are we gonna save the climate? Not using energy, that's how. What's the one time you're not using as much energy? When you're sleeping. So Joe Biden was just doing his part, yo. That's what he was doing. And by the way, I don't know exactly how the chain of command works, but when he dozed off for five seconds, I think technically that means Kamala Harris was president at that time, right? First woman president, America, you did it, baby! You did it! You see what I did there, Costa? It's a joke about Costa! Michael! Shoot them, Lindsey Graham, use the guns, use the guns! That's not what I was talking about. I know. This guy. You know, if you ask me, the real hero of this whole thing was the aide who came in and woke Biden up, because that was, that was slick, man. That dude should get a coin. If it wasn't for him, Biden might still be sleeping there now. Yeah, he'll just wake up next week in the middle of like a furry convention. Oh, I, I don't know if I could rub one out to a squirrel, but God love you guys. So kudos to that aide who woke Biden up. I mean, people, people may not actually know this, but he's actually part of a new branch of the federal government, and they're on the lookout for recruits. When the world's most powerful man needs a power nap at the worst possible time, and the line between consciousness and chaos is as thin as an eyelid, that's when we spring into action. The few, the swift, the United States Sleeper Service. Join our team and you'll learn how to take charge when the president takes a nap Eagle is dozing. Repeat, Eagle is dozing. We're entering rapid eye movement. God damn it, get those eyes open. He's about to snore. So if you're ready to throw yourself into the line of tired, join the United States Sleeper Service. Suck it, Space Force.